In this video, I'm going to be reviewing print pods. It's this device by a company called Evebot, which is essentially a handheld wireless Bluetooth printer, and you'll be able to print on many different services. This comes in at $149. If you get the one with the standard black ink cartridge, then it's $199. But check out the Evebot website with the link in the description below. They provide these handheld printers and multiple different ink cartridges for different surfaces, including ones for food. So let's go ahead and open this up. Right at the top, you have yourself the user manual. This will give you instructions in both Chinese and English just to get you up and running very quickly. You'll be able to see in the quick start guide, it's a very simple seven step process to get up and running and complement this with the app that you can find with the QR code to start printing. So you have yourself here, the ink cartridge. This one is the standard ink in black. You can also get them in various different colors. This is the printer and you can see actually, it looks very compact. A pair of disposable gloves for when you want to clean the device. This is the USB-C charging cable. And this is the printer itself. I think that looks very cool. You'll see there's a gap here because essentially every ink cartridge that you buy will have the compartment with the ink cartridge itself that slots into this place. Just on the top, you have yourself the on off switch, the USB-C charging port and the button that will start the printing. There's an indicator light as well when you do plug this in for charging. I just wanted to highlight that you can also buy other ink cartridges like I have here. This one is a really cool one. It's a skin friendly ink and this one I have is in navy blue. This will stay on your skin if you wanted to maybe write on your arm. It'll be there for about one or two days, but it can come off if you use a little bit of alcohol or if you're outside in rain, then it will start to come off. But if you wanted to maybe create some cool tattoos, then that's a really funky thing you can try with that. This is their latest ink cartridge that they've just released. This is the solvent quick dry ink. So once you do print on a surface with this, it will be dry pretty much instantly. And I'm going to test this out on various different services, but take a look at the description below and you can check out some of these new ink cartridges for the print pods. So I'm going to trial each of these three different ink cartridges, but it's worth mentioning to make sure that between switching the ink cartridges from the device itself to make sure you always clean it. So you want to maintain the life of the print pods by not having any contamination or leakage. So you can do that via the cleaning cloth manually, or you can also use it via the app, which is very highly recommended. Let's start off with the standard black ink. Let's open this up. That is how the ink cartridges look. You just need to take this plastic casing out and then you will need to take the peeling off. There we go. And now it's ready to slot into place. You hear the click, it's now clicked into place. And the last step is to pair this with the app. So I have downloaded the Print Labs app. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this on. Select a device. So you, Print Pen is another device that Eve bought sell on their website. I have the print pods, click on next. Configure the Wi-Fi settings. So you find the Wi-Fi that starts with the word EveBot. Then the default password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hit join. And there you have it. The print pods is now connected. So pretty straightforward process. So just a quick introduction into the app. You've got yourself a gallery. If you click on that, there's some presets that you can use, various different options. And some of these look very cool. And I will be trying some of these out. You also have a tab here for tattoos. So that's a really nice thing that they've added. So if you wanted to use the skin friendly ink, then you can choose one of these or upload your own designs. You can also add text. So when you click on this, you got a text pop up. So you can do something like that. And then you can also change the font. You can change the direction to vertical if you'd like, and then you'll be ready to print this as well. You also have the option to upload a picture. It comes out in grayscale pictures. I would recommend they need to be, you know, very horizontal and not high in length because this is the movement of the printer itself. So when you are printing, you'll go from left to right, much like you're using text. So you can do that. And then you also have freehand option. If you select that, you can use this 
and create your own design if you'd like. And then you also have the option to clean everything that you see on the screen itself. You also have a slider here to go even further right, depending on how long you want your print to be. Okay guys, so now I'm ready to print. On the app, I've added some text. I've just written there, Eve bought print pods. I've got my piece of paper ready. So the way you have to print, you have to make sure that you have the curved part of the print pods facing away from you, so in that direction, and then you'll have to swipe left to right. To start printing, make sure you do press the print button to send whatever updates you've made here directly to the print pods. I already have. And then once you want to start printing, you press the button here once, you'll hear a confirmation beep, you swipe, and to stop printing, you press the button one more time, and the printing dialog pop-up on the app will disappear as well. So let me show you an example. You'll see it's ready for printing. So you take the cap off, get it ready, and then you swipe. How clean and how clear is this? And you know, it pretty much dries instantly as well, which is great. And this is the standard black ink. So if I press the button one more time, the confirmation has disappeared. And now I can make any updates on this. So if I wanted to get rid of the text, for example, and then I'll add maybe an image. Let's go with this panda. There we go. And maybe I'll add some text as well. There we go. And now I'm going to hit print. So the image is uploading, it's sending it directly to here, and I've just heard a confirmation beep. Now I'm ready to print that, so I'll just press the button once, and it's ready to start printing. There we go. Quick and simple. So you'll notice that the image has cut off a little bit, so you need to just check the dimensions of the image, and you can resize it. So you just tap on it, there's a little resize button on the bottom right, so you can see I've just made it a little bit bigger, like so. And then you can make it smaller. You can even use the buttons at the bottom here, which might be a little bit easier. There we go, if I get rid of the text, there we go, print. I'll do it on the other side. Nice, quick and clean. Now it's not only paper that you can print this on, you can also use this on various different objects. So you could print on a notepad, on an envelope, on a padded envelope, on a dark colored fabric. And I'll use the solvent ink for something like this. And of course the most common one, you can use boxes and packaging to put addresses on. So one thing I always recommend, once you do print, you'll notice there would be some smudge marks. So make sure you do clean it between switching the ink cartridges. So grab a tissue and just make sure you wipe it just so that it doesn't leave any permanent stains at the bottom of the device. You can use a bit of a wet wipe, but make sure you don't get anything on the actual printing cartridge just there at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I will turn this off and I will now switch over to the quick dry ink and use this one, the solvent one, on a few of these objects. Okay, so now I have this new quick dry ink cartridge installed. This is the solvent one. It's always recommended to do a clean right before you start using it. To do that in the app, you just go into settings and then just at the top, there is a toggle to display the settings of the solvent ink, turn that on. Then you have this option there, print head self cleaning. Once you press this and then hit okay, it will drain a little bit of the ink which is why you need some tissue to put underneath it so that the ink can come out and you can do a bit of a clean and then try and see if it comes out correctly. So before you start using this on any other materials to do essentially the live versions, it's always recommended to grab some paper and just run some tests to see if it's coming out correctly. So I'll go ahead. I've created a little image of California. There we go, not too bad slightly faded but the great thing about this is that this dries instantly let's go ahead and now test this on various different surfaces so i'm going to now take this gray packing envelope and see how it comes out on here and actually it stands out a lot more on darker backgrounds which is quite surprising and you can use this you know to send addresses and shipping envelopes like this so let's go ahead and do one on here 
very quick, easy, you get the beep confirmations and you know, you can pretty much use this for any type of purpose. And I'll just do one more on the back of my notepad. There we go. And you press the button to stop. And this is really great. It works on various different types of surfaces, but if you actually did want to wipe this off, then you can use an alcohol based wipe and it should come off quite easily. Let me go ahead and remove this by hitting this clean button. See what else I can add. Let's add maybe a QR code, maybe an image, and let's see how this comes out. Hit print. And again, I'll test this on a piece of paper. There we go, very nice. And the last ink cartridge that I have is this one the skinned friendly ink. So let's go ahead, swap out this ink, but right before you swap it out, just make sure to give it a clean. So I'm gonna bring this tissue, showcase how this works. So make sure it's placed on top of the tissue. There we go, and then hit okay. It will start draining. Just hold it, you hear a beep. Once it's finished, you'll see ink has now leaked. And just make sure you wipe the bottom of it just in case there's any additional leakage from the ink cartridge, make sure it's fully clean before you replace the cartridge with something else. Okay, I now have the Skin Friendly Navy Blue ink cartridge installed. Let's go ahead and add a tattoo. So I'll go to Gallery, Tattoos tab, and maybe let's take this one. So I always would recommend before you print directly onto your skin, just do a couple of trial runs on a piece of paper and make sure that it's coming out correctly before you put anything onto your skin. And this one is looking pretty good. So this would be great, you know, if you wanted to get a tattoo maybe on your arm there, maybe on your bicep, wherever you feel like you would like to have a tattoo, then this is a great option as well because it is skin friendly and if you wanted to remove it, then it's very easy to remove it because it's water soluble, which means you can simply wash it off or use a tissue or wet wipe to completely rub it off before it dries. But have a look on their website and check out some sample photos of using this feature. Okay, now I'm just gonna show you a comparison between each of the three different inks and really showcase the water soluble ink, which is the quick dry one, how that doesn't get rubbed off with water from a reflective surface like glass, plastic, metal, and those kind of things. I'm gonna just start off with the standard ink that comes in the box. I'm gonna print onto this glass board. There we go. And now I'm just gonna quickly get some water here and show you that this comes off quite easily. Completely rubs off. Now I'm going to do the same test with the skin ink. Let's go ahead and open this. Now let's go ahead and rub this off with some water. This is the skin one. And again, you can see it comes off very quickly, very easily. And the last one, the quick dry ink, solvent based. This one should be very difficult for the water to completely rub off. And now we just let this to dry for a few seconds. This is the quick dry ink. And then now I'm going to test to see if it actually rubs off with a bit of water. There you go. You can see it's really dried in and I can't take it off. So this is perfect to print on surfaces where it might be a little moist, it may get wet and you still want it to retain. And it's really maintained the print to the point where no amount of water will actually smudge this off. So that for me is a big win for this type of ink cartridge. Just a side disclaimer, I have the pre-sale version of this quick dry ink cartridge, but it will be the next one that gets released by Ethwatt. But currently at the time of this video, it's still in testing and optimization stages, but keep an eye out on their website once it does get released. 
And that's pretty much it guys. Hopefully you found that review useful. This is a very nice little device. Of course, make sure you do clean this quite often, especially when you change between multiple different ink cartridges. Check out the eBot website for all of the pricing information, any discounts they may have, and all of the specs and sample photos of all the different things that you can do with this device. If you guys have any other questions about the print pods and its capabilities, drop a comment down below. If you did find this review useful, make sure to give it a like. I review all things tech with new videos out every week with really cool gadgets like this. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.